Happy Saturday. How you doing? I want to ask you a question today. Do you feel like your life is being hindered? Is something blocking your progress? Are you stuck? People call me all the time. And they say, Pastor Jim, I just feel like I'm stuck. Like I'm like I'm not making progress. Like I'm hindered. I say, like you're hindered? They say, yeah, like I'm hindered. Well, let's come up with a solution for you. Let's unhinder your life. Huh? Say this with me. The rest of my life, the rest of my life is the best of my life. Is the best of my life. And the best of my life, and the best of my life is the rest of my life. Is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart. I'm smart. Getting smarter every day. Getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. I'm extremely talented. Great things are coming my way. Great things are coming my way. Everything always works out for me. Everything always works out for me. I am a wonderful person. I'm a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Wonderful pastor. Wonderful. wonderful. Pastor Jim is the ultimate pastor because I get results. And I'm available to you. If you're, a, if you're a partner with this ministry, you know that you can call and I answer the phone. Somebody said to me, she said, this is the most unique ministry I've ever seen. I said, yeah. Nobody else is doing what I do. And nobody else is getting results like I do. Huh? Nobody needs to be sick and broke as long as I'm here. Nobody does. Because there's power in the name of Jesus. So much power. Glory to God, huh? Hallelujah. Share this video with everybody you know today. Hit the invite button on Facebook if you're watching on Facebook. And a lot of you do. Just up on the top is an invite button. Hit that invite button and invite all your friends to join the group. And if you're watching on YouTube, send everybody a text message and tell them to go to YouTube and type in Pastor Jim Kibler into the search box. And they'll get all the videos. There's almost 2,500 videos. Almost 2,500 videos in there. And there, it's like a, it's a gold mine. People find those videos and they go, oh my goodness. There's a lot of word of faith people out there. A lot of good spirit filled people out there. Unfortunately, there's not too many churches. Not too many spirit, good spirit filled churches. There's spirit filled churches out there. But they don't get results. And the pastors don't speak God's word for word blessing like they're commanded to do. Jesus told us to do two things. Preach the kingdom and heal the sick. They're not healing the sick. They're supposed to. And poverty is financial sickness. So we have to heal poverty. Amen. It's part of the curse. Is your life being hindered? This is coming from our book on how to break curses. This is the most amazing book. This book, I'm telling you, you have to know what is in this book to live an abundant life. To live a curse-free life is to live a blessed life. Huh? You do not have to live with curses. This is right in this book. It says, you do not have to live with curses. You can live a blessed life completely unhindered by curses. What curses do is they hinder your life. They hinder you. They block the blessing. Curses are blessing blockers. And they hinder. They hinder your progress. They hinder everything. Let's start living a curse-free, blessed life. Huh?
People feel like something is hindering your success or is something keeping you sick. People with chronic illness have something in the background that is keeping them sick. I will show you the prime example of that. In Luke chapter 13, Jesus went into the temple and there was a woman there who had a spirit of infirmity right here. She had a spirit of infirmity for 18 years and she was bent over and could not stand up. Now this spirit of infirmity had been there for 18 years. And do you know what it did? It kept her from getting better. And it was, it was a spirit allowed in there by a curse. Somehow or another, a curse had gotten into her life. And when a curse gets into your life, what it does is it brings evil spirits with it. And the, the curse gives the evil spirits permission to operate and this woman had a spirit of infirmity. I guarantee you, everybody who is sick has a spirit of infirmity. Remember in uh, Acts chapter 10, verse 38, Peter's talking to people. He said how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil. They were oppressed of the devil. Well, that oppression of the devil kept them sick. It hindered their healing. And this woman, she had this spirit of infirmity and it hindered her healing. Do you feel like your, your healing is being hindered? Hers was. So Jesus called her over and he said, be loosed from that infirmity, that spirit. And so the spirit left. Then he touched her and she was healed. Two steps. In order to get somebody healed or in order to, to move somebody from poverty into abundance, the first step is to break the curse and get rid of the spirit that is hindering their progress. That's step number one. So we get rid of that, just like Jesus did. People wonder why. They say, oh, Pastor Jim, you're just so amazing, so amazing that you get these kind of results. Well, all I do is I just do it like Jesus did. That's all. If you want to be successful, copy successful people. And there was nobody more successful than Jesus was in his ministry. So I copy him. How's that? People say, you just try to be like Jesus. I sort of thought that was the idea. He's our model. He's our inspiration. He's our guide. He's the one who told us how to do it. He told us how to do it. I don't know why in the world every preacher out there isn't doing this. Because Jesus told us how to do it. He said, Wait, you, he said, that which I do, you can do also. I said, okay. And it works. And so I do what he did. Now, I haven't done everything he did, but I could. There's nothing I can't do. Everything he did, I can do using his name. Everything. He said so. He said so. So he got rid of that spirit of infirmity in that lady and got her healed. Then he explained it. In verse 16, because some of the people became indignant that he would heal that woman on the Sabbath, he said, and shouldn't, ought not, shouldn't this woman 
being a daughter of Abraham. Now he tells us he healed her because she's a covenant woman. If you are born again, you are a covenant person and you deserve to be healed and you deserve abundance. Don't let anybody talking out of the pits of hell tell you anything else. Anybody who tells you you don't deserve healing and you don't deserve abundance has no idea what they're talking about. And I've heard some very, very prominent people say, you don't deserve God's goodness, but he gives it to you anyway. That is wrong. You do deserve it. You deserve it because of who you are, because you're a covenant person. Not because of what you've done. You can't earn this. It's by grace. We're living in the period of grace. But you deserve it because of what Jesus has done. Don't ever let anybody tell you different. They don't know what they're talking about, including some very, very prominent and wise and full of wisdom preachers but they don't know what they're talking about. The minute a preacher says, you do not deserve God's best, I shut him off or her because they don't know what they're talking about. And anything else they say, who knows what else they're saying. And that's a fact. You do deserve it. And Jesus said that woman deserved to be healed because she was a daughter of Abraham. And then he said, this woman whom Satan has bound, he blamed her sickness on the devil. The devil sent in that spirit of infirmity because there was a curse involved. Now, how do I know there's a curse involved? Because it has to be permission. A curse is permission for an for a evil spirit to operate in your life. When somebody, when, when Noah cursed one of his sons, he gave the devil permission to cause his servants, his, his sons to be servants. One of his sons to be servants. And that was the Canaanites. The Canaanites. A lot of people wonder who was affected by that curse. It was the Canaanites. They were living in the land of Canaan and Israel routed them when they went into the promised land. That's who was cursed by Noah. So that's that curse. But you deserve to be healed. And Jesus removed that hindering spirit that was allowed in there through a hindering curse. Is your life hindered? I guarantee you there's curses involved. Call me. Let me get rid of it. Let me break that hindering spirit that's hindering your progress, that's stopping you from living in abundance, that's stopping you from being healed. And then you, all you have to do is be quiet. Don't say another word. Because if you be quiet and don't say another word, what I say will work in your life. But you start asking a lot of questions. Oh, Pastor Jim, I, there's people call me every day. I need a miracle today. I need a miracle today. Guess what? They don't get nothing. Because they don't believe it's done. They don't, they're not believing anything. I, I, I keep praying for them because that's what they want. But believe me, they're not getting anything. It's the one who says, thank you, goes about their business, enjoys their life, and things just explode in your life. Abundance, healing, everything happens for him. Glory to God. Huh? Hallelujah. Call me today. Make sure you call me if you did your offerings and donations yesterday or today. I, uh, I've been told that there's already people doing their offerings and donations today. So call me so I can speak God's word for word blessing over you. I am determined you are going to live a curse-free, blessed life and I will use the power in the name of Jesus to make it happen.